Fellas. Good strawberries and cream. And also another update just dropped for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet version 1.3. I'm going to briefly talk about my thoughts on the matter. It's coming on the last video. I do before my full review of the other games next month for six month month of May. So let's begin. So among other technical fixes is an, an update they've added. One particular her problem that they managed to correct was like with the wipe being the save data, which given how I've logged uh, over 60 hours a piece into these so far, I try to get my money's worth of any game I pick up. I mean, personally, even if I'm not a huge fan of it. I'm currently doing my title defense with a gym challenge and doing my first competitive circuit as well, so. I definitely don't want to lose all that progress, especially since I've got events in there and not being going to be able to get back either. And I'll start working more on Pokemon Home integration and Pokemon Go integration. I mean, I would presume that with all the updates to the mobile version of the app, the Switch version should update for too long. I mean... I still stand by the fact that even though I'm interested in Hidden Treasure Area Zero, I'm not actually going to opt into it until I have a release date. Hate for it, I mean. I, th I mean, I know they had the placeholder dates on the eShop. I mean, of December 31st of this year for Part 1, and, and April 30th of next year for Part 2. But, personally... It's, hey, I mean, I definitely plan opting in before Halloween to get the event bonuses anyway. With that in mind, I'm actually glad the progress made so far and that once again, prioritizing I mean, fixes and updates before the expansion comes out, like another parallel with Cyberpunk and even to accept No Man's Sky where they're letting their improvements to the balance and overall look how feel do the tall game as well that'll be all for now and i'll see you all again soon with this full of you this game in may take care everyone mm -hmm.